Hello students, in this video, we are going to study chapter 8 motion introduction part. Learning outcomes of this video are, you should be able to define physical quantities giving two examples. Second, define fundamental and derived physical quantities giving two examples of each. And the last outcome is, you should be able to define scalars and vectors again giving two examples of each. Now let us understand what are physical quantities first of all. Now all the quantities which can be measured directly or indirectly are called as physical quantities. Let us understand this definition by taking few examples. Now let us consider length. We know length can, of any object can be measured by a scale or measuring tape. So it can be measured directly. So it is a physical quantity. Area. Now for square area is side square. For rectangle there is a formula area is length into breadth. And for circle it is pi r square. Similarly for different figures we have different formula to find out the area. So area also can be measured although indirectly. Time. Time can be measured using watch, clock or stopwatch. Mass. Mass of a body can be measured using physical or beam balance. Temperature of any object or body can be measured using thermometer. As these all physical quantities can be measured directly or indirectly by using some instrument or by using formulae. So we can say these are physical quantities. On the other hand, when we talk about the qualities like kindness, beauty, honesty, can we measure them? We don't have proper measurement. They cannot be measured using any instrument or using any formula. For one person, a person may be beautiful. For the other person, he or she may not be equally beautiful. So we can say kindness, beauty, honesty, qualities like these are not the physical quantities as they cannot be measured. So let us see our second learning outcome. Define fundamental and derived physical quantities giving two examples of each. Now let us see what are fundamental quantities. Obviously these are the physical quantities only but these are the physical quantities which do not depend upon other quantities for their measurement. For example, length, mass, time, these are the fundamental quantities because they do not depend upon other quantities for their measurement. On the other hand, derived quantities are the physical quantities which depend upon other physical quantities for their measurement. For example, area, volume. We have seen area depends upon length and breadth. Volume depends upon cross-sectional area and height of an object. So, this second learning outcome I hope you have achieved. Now our last learning outcome is define scalars and vectors giving two examples of each. Now what are scalars? This is another way of classifying physical quantities. There are two different ways to classify physical quantities. In first way we can we can divide all the physical quantities into two groups fundamental quantities and derived physical quantities which we have seen just now. The other way of classifying the physical quantities is we can divide all the physical quantities into scalars and vectors. Let us see what are scalars. Scalars are the physical quantities which have only magnitude and no direction. For example, when we consider length, mass, time, speed, these physical quantities have only magnitude. Here magnitude we mean, by magnitude we mean that length of an object may be 5 meters. So 5 meter is its length. Mass of an object may be 20 kg. 20 kg is its magnitude. So these physical quantities have only magnitude and no direction. So these are the examples of scalars. Vectors are the physical quantities which have both magnitude and direction. For example, displacement, velocity, force. These are the physical quantities 
which not only have magnitude but they also have direction. Like for example, consider force. When we say apply a force of 2 Newton on an object, obviously we should know in which direction we have to apply the force. For example, let us say in order to open the door, you have to apply a force but in what particular direction you should know. So, as these physical quantities have magnitude as well as direction, so we can say these are examples of vectors. Hope students you have achieved the three learning outcomes of this video. First, define physical quantities giving two examples. Physical quantities are the quantities which can be measured directly or indirectly. Length, mass, time, these are examples of physical quantities. Define fundamental and derived physical quantities giving two examples of each. Fundamental quantities are the physical quantities which do not depend upon other quantities for their measurement. On the other hand, derived physical quantities are the physical quantities which depend upon other physical quantities for their measurement. Example of fundamental, length, mass, time. Example of derived physical quantities, area, volume. Now, last learning outcome, define scalars and vectors. Hope you have remembered now. Scalars are the physical quantities which have only magnitude and no direction. Length, mass, time, speed and vectors are the physical quantities which have both magnitude and direction. Displacement, velocity, force are the examples of vectors. Thank you.